It's Mitch here. Um, so this episode is going to be uh, basically uh, bug fixes and optimizations to the interaction code, um, as well as maybe some puzzle mechanics if we get time in the end. Um, so there's one little bug, I guess, or optimization we can do with the interaction. I'll just illustrate what that is. So at the moment, we're doing it just on angle, which is cool, but um, there's one flaw. So if I just get a layer here. So say we have um, our player looking at a certain direction and there are two objects, one here and one here. Well, the angle is the same, but depending on the order in which we um, look at these objects, this could be selected or this, which is not what we wanted because generally we want the closest to be selected. So. How do we go about solving this? Um, one way to do it is through the arc length. So basically if we have um, a circle and the center, the arc length is um, a length on this circle. So like say that length here at this degree is, is there. Uh, it's pretty easy to calculate if we have our degrees in radians then the arc length is simply this radius multiplied by this degree in radians will give us this distance from here to, oops, here. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, so what we can do is then say, instead of the highest dot product value, um, we can say the lowest arc length. So this object will have a higher arc length because it's further away than this object because it's closer so its arc length will be shorter which is cool so that'll solve that problem so we'll just go I'll just go on about implementing that it's pretty easy but um, pretty cool at the same time so if we look at here we'll go back to our test move this up a little bit go and so here's our um, find the nearest interaction uh, blueprint that we're working from from before. Um, so the arc length, as I showed you, is um, the angle in radians multiplied by the distance, or the radius of the circle. Um, so as we have the um, cosine of the um, angle, then to find the actual angle, we just inverse the cosine. So if I go um, a cos and we want it in radians, so there we go. Um, that's arc cosine if you're wondering um, and then we multiply it by the distance which luckily we already worked out the distance this minus that is actually the distance between the two so if we find that and get its length then we have its length in uh, a number so if we just multiply these to go together um, as in the formula there we go. Now we have the arc length of those um, uh, our object that we we're looking at and the player. Uh, so now we don't want to do it on threshold. So we still want this threshold value to be the min that we look at, but we don't want to um, find the lowest threshold. We want to find the lowest arc length, so I'll just create a local variable here, um, lowest arc length, cool, that's all good, and now I'm going to set that to be our lowest arc length, and now if this is less than or equal to our lowest arc length and we basically want to say if the threshold if we're over the threshold and we uh, uh, find a, a new lowest arc length then we want to set this object to be the nearest and this lowest arc length will just be this value here which is cool but um, since we're finding the lowest instead of the greatest which um, which is in threshold we just need um, a max to begin with um, so one way to do that is or one hacky way I guess is to just add a sequence node here which I'd never know why they never pop up when you want them um, 
and we just want to on the very first run through of the loop um, it's real hacky but I'm just going to add a do once should work and then we just want to set the lowest arc length on the very first run through to be this value here so now we have a maximum that we can go from and then this do once will get um, reset every time we call the function so it should work perfectly fine um, so now if we test our code go back everything's working fine but just a little bit more optimized which is pretty cool so next thing to do um, if we look um, we just got to optimize the trace so basically I left you guys off with this trace here which is cool it works but um, there are a couple of bugs so if you see when I click play um, and do it so we are using this get nearest object if i just debug you see um, on blur and on focus is always being called which means that one it's a waste and two the um, on focused event on this interactable cube is always being called which isn't ideal just because we kind of want these events to be just triggered once so how do we go about fixing that um it's pretty simple uh so what we want is just decouple this from that and we want to have this here so basically what we want to do is we want to do a trace first and then <clears throat> if that trace is successful so we we'll successfully hit a focused object then we'll do this but if it's not successful then we'll fall back to doing our um, dot product test just so if we're looking at the object, we won't do any dot product math, so it's a little bit more efficient. So first things we want to do, if I can find my mouse, there we go, is um, just test if this actor we're looking at implements, so it does implement the interface that we're looking for, so we want this to be our interaction interface. Cool. And if it does, you guys can see this, yeah, cool. Um, we want to do the, our basic thing we did before. And if it doesn't, so if we're, the object we're looking at doesn't implement the interface, then we want to fail back to our dot product test, which will be actually pretty much the same as this. I'll just get rid of that. And check this up here. But we want to check our uh, nearest object instead of this trace object so put check that here move these up here just connect our two pins here and we are good to go i believe so we'll just give that a little bit of a test and see how it's working yep that seems to work fine and I'll just debug and we can see it working. So we'll see that because we're tracing the object, so our trace is, is successful, then we won't do this expensive, uh, sort of expensive calculation here. And we'll just fail here, which is pretty cool. And then once our um, trace fails, you see it jump back down here and we'll do our calculation. And we'll only call, call on blower on focus once, which is exactly what we want. Cool. So now we've optimized anything, everything. I'll leave it here for this video, and uh, in the next one, we'll come back and do some cool puzzle mechanics. All right. See you guys.